Another day, another next general RTX 30 laptop. And we feel that they're getting better and better. Today we'll show you the new Acer Predator Helios 300PH31756 which comes with up to GeForce 3080 GPU and 12th Gen Core i7 CPU. We've ordered a configuration that is a bit less expensive but still beastly powerful, equipped with 150 watts RTX 3070. Last year, Helios 300 had some temperature issues but this time around Acer claims that the cooling system is flawless. Let's see. First, it's worth noting that the laptop is made out of metal, and has great structural integrity with almost zero flex when twisted. Ultimately, it is a bit thick, and a bit heavy, but it's definitely nothing, considering what it offers. The main panel is very clean with a keyboard that is good for typing and gaming. Also, there's a turbo button that maxes out the fans. Below the keyboard, there is a big touchpad with a glass surface and a shiny chamfered trim. The unit itself is great. On the left side, you can see a Kensington lock slot, LAN port, full-sized USB 3.2 generation 1 port, and an audio jack. Then, on the right, there are two full-sized USB 3.2 generation 2 ports, while the back houses the power plug, Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, and a mini display port. Not bad, not bad at all. Upgradeability is on point with two DDR5 slots hidden behind a metal bracket, and two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, both of which can fit ultra-fast generation 4 drives. Check out our disassembly video to see how to open this notebook. You can order the new Helios 300 with one of three display options, two full HD panels with 144 or 165 Hz, and one QHD IPS with a refresh rate of 165 Hz. Yep, we've chosen the last one. It's definitely worth the extra bucks with a maximum brightness of 374 nits and 1110 to 1 contrast ratio. The color coverage is great. 100% of the sRGB gamut, and 99% of the ultra-wide DCI-P3, fantastic. The only drawback is the color accuracy although it gets better when paired with our gaming and web design profile that lowers the delta E value close to 2. Good news on the PWM front is the panel doesn't use harmful flickering for brightness adjustments meaning you can play as long as you want without headaches. No, not that long, please. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Helios 300 has a 90 watt hours battery unit that lasts for a bit more than 7 hours at web browsing, or a bit less than 7 hours at video playback. Not bad for a gaming notebook. Acer has released the new Helios with only one CPU option, Core i7-12700H. We can't complain though, it does its job well, not bottlenecking the powerful RTX GPUs. They are as creatures, because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. As we said, we've got a configuration with 150 watts RTX 3070. The Witcher 3 runs with around 140 FPS at ultra graphics settings taking advantage of the fast display panel. So does the Battlefield 5. You can play it with 177 FPS on average, again at ultra settings. We left the most inter-E sting part for last. We said that we weren't happy with the cooling system of the last year's Helios. But now, the new PH31756 variant is incredible, in that aspect. First, the CPU has a metal liquid compound applied, but more importantly, we have a well-constructed heat pipe system, and two fans that manage to cool the powerful RTX 3070 Ti allowing it to maintain its 150 watts TGP during long gaming sessions. The most amazing part is that its temperature after 30 minutes of 100% load is just 67 degrees Celsius. Good job, Acer, good job. And take a look at the external temps, the warmest point is just 36 degrees. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Predator Helios 300 is one of the best gaming notebooks on the market and it surely deserves our Editor's Choice Award. It really has no drawbacks whatsoever, last year we had just one complaint and Acer has resolved it. So, if you are looking for a high-end gaming notebook, look no further. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.